So, God established a covenant with King David. Everybody say King David. He made a covenant of sword with Aaron, with his children. He made a covenant of sword with the children of Israel. And Jesus came teaching that we are also the salt of the earth. Now, anytime we move somebody into a covenant of salt, it means longevity, preservation. Do you understand? It means that nothing can cut you short. Number two, covenant of salt brings abundance in people's life. Somebody say abundance. Jesus said, you shall receive life and receive it in overflow. Overflow. What you have is not enough to you move into overflow. Somebody came and said, Papa, I'm rich. How much? Two thousand dollars. They wake up in the morning, they count it every day, and they die it. Two thousand. You are not rich, you are poor. If you wake up every day and count 2,000 and think you are rich, you are poor. There are some people in this country, their money is uncountable. Yes, so many of them. They are the ones who go rich. Not 2,000 naira. You take 1,000 naira to it, you are afraid. My, dad, my money is rich. After this covenant of salt, some of you will experience that kind of abundance. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not talking about stolen money. Yeah. I'm talking about miracle money. Yeah. Somebody say miracle money. Miracle money. Yes. God will send you some breakthroughs in your life. Yeah. That will bring joy to your life. Yeah. Every Nigerian life breakthrough. Oh, yeah. All over. When I see when they come to me, but man of God pray for me for breakthrough. And it's good. And it is I should pray for them for break destruction. They say break to you. You will get it. Yeah. Stretch your hands on this prophetic sword. Anytime you put salt in your soup, what happens to your soup? Yeah. It gives it taste. Yeah. After this morning, your life will have taste. Yeah. Taste that will bring your life balance. Yeah. I say balance is coming in your life. Yeah. Of you know that you need balance. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. By the power of this prophetic sword, as I move you into the covenant of sword, yeah. you will see balance yeah. in your life. Yeah. So stretch your hands, every one of you. That as we use it, it will never be a natural sword. Yeah. It shall become unto you a supernatural sword. Yeah. Pray over it, pray over it, pray over it. Pray over it. Jesus' name. Amen. How many of you believe that it shall be unto you a turn around? Yes. How many of you believe that after this covenant of sort, I told you I don't do it for ordinary people. I do it for tall men and God moves for them. Please. Me, I don't know why I'm doing this here because I always preserve it especially for special occasions. Amen. Amen. I was going through certain challenges. Seriously. And came through you and it manifests naturally. I want to see one of my spiritual fathers, Archbishop Nicholas Danka Williams. And he moved me to Covenant of Salt. Early in the morning, I brought my salt, my offering, my water. He moved me to Covenant of Salt. The next day, that thing stopped. This country, you see prominent men going to Juju. Yeah. You don't see them here. Yes, they go, they give them ring, they believe it and it's working for them. They give them handkerchief, it's working for them. Why is the direction coming in the presence of the Lord and you are not in it? Stretch your hands, stretch your hands. This is somebody's destiny. Somebody's miracle. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I move the whole church. 
as the man of God requested, into the covenant of salt. They will be preserved. No one of them will die before their time. They will live long to see their miracles. This covenant of salt will move them into their destiny. Into the other side. In the name of Jesus. Lord, give their life taste. And give their life balance. They will see open heavens in their lives.